In this video, we're going to look at how to read the Cayley table for D3, which is the set of symmetries of the equilateral triangle. We've been looking at this set under composition for the last couple of videos. And what I want to remind you is that in the previous video, we did notice that if we first did row 2 and then did mu 3, that the result turned out to be mu 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at two different entries in this table. Here is the mu3 row, here is the row 2 row, here is the row 2 column, and here is the mu3 column. So if I look at this entry, I get that, and if I look at this entry, I get this. And I want to notice that, first of all, uh, these two entries say something very important. First do row 2, and then do mu 3, and first do mu 3, and then do row 2, cannot be equal to each other because these two entries in this Cayley table are not the same. I also want to notice that the one that I want is this one. And so the meaning of this particular table must be first do this element up here and then do the element on the row. In other words, this mu2 represents first do row 2, then do mu3, whereas this, M, this mu1 represents first do m3, and then do row 2. So first do mu3, then do row 2. This convention can be thought of in the following way in all Cayley tables where the operation is composition. So in an arbitrary Cayley table where the operation is known to be function composition, if this particular column is labeled by the function name f, and this particular, oh, let's say down here, is labeled by g, this element in this cell right here, that cell is going to be first do f, then do g. So, in reading these tables, it's always going to be first do the thing in the column and then do the thing in the row. And so what I want you to do is I want you to look at the author's table for the Cayley group for D3, and I want you to verify it now that you know how to quickly compute all of those compositions using the two-row form, and uh, just make sure that you understand that table real, real well.